This video is going to show you how you can do a man Whitney test in R. I'm also going to show you how you can produce an effect size for it as well. And as ever, the data and code are in a link below the video so you can practice on it yourself. So we're going to read in some data. It's called MW for man Whitney. It's a CSV file and we're going to call it DF. So here's our data. We've got condition and we've got I'm just going to attach that to make our life a little bit easier later on. Now, we're going to label our condition. So our condition's got two levels, one and two. Basically, in, in this um, study, what we're doing is participants were exposed to either a person who was a little bit annoying or a person who shouted at them, shouted abuse at them for a while, and then they recorded how angry they were. So first of all, we'll just label this condition. And then we can see in our data frame, we've got the condition is a bit annoying or shouted at. And they rated how angry they were on a five point Likert scale. Now, here it is, the scale they used. And um, this will probably mean very little to many people, but it's based on the UK TV comedy show Brass Eye many years ago when the East End gangster, uh, Mad Frankie Fraser, was on it and he was asked to rate how mad things make him. And he was presented with the Frankie Fraser Madometer that looks like this. So the lowest level of mad was low myth, then there was narked slash narky, lightly bonkers, massive huff, and as mad as a lorry. So we've got a five point scale starting with low myth, which is not angry at all, all the way up to mad as a lorry, which is really angry. So we're interested in whether it's being exposed to someone a bit annoying versus being exposed to someone who shouts at you is going to influence the anger in our participants, how angry they feel. So to do this, we can just use the will clock stop test command. Simply say, anger tilde predicted by condition. We can run that. And then we get our W test statistic and a p-value for it as well. You will note we get this warning message as well. Cannot compute exact p-value with ties. And that's just because we've got some tied ranks in the calculation for the man we need the data is ranked. So if you want to get rid of that, it doesn't really matter. If you want to get rid of that, you could just do the same command and just say exact equals f. It doesn't change the results at all, but it does get rid of that error message. If you dislike error messages, you can do that. So we've got our W statistic of 16 and our p-value of 0, 0.00. Eight. So there's a significant difference between conditions. You could also get effect size for this. So we can get effect size and R effect size for this. And we can do this using the R statistics package. If you haven't already installed it, you'll need to. If you have, you can pull out your library. And then we use the command Wilcox F size. And then we say the data frame we're using, in this case, we called it DF. And then just as before, this is anger tilde prediction. So anger predicted by the condition. And here we go, gives us our effect size of 0.599, so you'd run that to 0.60 probably. And the magnitude of that is interpreted as being large. And that's how you can do a Man Whitney U test 